Welcome to Nalf Sounds. Now the Ford F-Series pickup truck has been the number one best-selling vehicle in the United States for 42 straight years. Now for Americans, pickup trucks are more than just a vehicle. They symbolize freedom, adventure, and the can-do American spirit. There's just so many things you can do in a pickup truck. You can go off-roading, start a company, move your home, pull a trailer, and many other activities that depict the pioneer American spirit. In the early 1900s, farmers relied on horse-drawn wagons to move goods and equipment. This was a slow and laborious process. However, this all changed in the mid-1920s when Henry Ford introduced the first mass-produced truck, the Model T pickup truck, that is. It dramatically increased the speed and efficiency in which food and equipment were transported. As roads improved and automobiles were made to be more affordable for the average person, people began to use pickup trucks for work and farming. Farmers were able to expand their operations and increase their productivity, ultimately leading to higher yields and profits. The open spaces of America allowed for the construction of wide and flat roads to traverse the open countryside at high speeds and to accommodate this new innovative invention. But even after the farming population decreased in the United States, Americans still bought pickup trucks because they appreciated the value and utility of this vehicle that changed their lives for the better. So why is it that there are so few pickup trucks in Europe? Well, there's a few reasons. Many European nations tax gasoline heavily and the price of gas is nearly double of what it is in the United States. Moreover, trucks typically only get about 20 miles to the gallon at best. Also, on average, the roads and parking spaces in Europe are much smaller and not as suited for big trucks as they are in the US. Let's take the Ford F-150 and compare it to Europe's best-selling car, the Volkswagen Golf. The Ford F-150 is about six feet tall and eight feet wide. The Volkswagen Golf is one and a half feet smaller in both directions. Quite a significant difference. Now, the US interstate highway system calls for a minimum of 12 foot wide highway lanes. In some European nations, that number can fall to eight feet, which would definitely raise challenges for driving a truck. With many European cities being built hundreds of years ago, these densely populated cities were built with cobblestone and brick roads and were built mainly for walking from place to place not for big cars. So the next time you see a pickup truck, remember, it's not just a vehicle. That is the symbol of the American spirit and way of life. Thank you for listening to my Nalf Sense.